Hi there, and welcome to the ProContact.me Contact Resource Manager. My name is Aaron Duchateau, and I'm the co-founder of ProContact.me, and I'd like to take some time to walk you through your Contact Resource Manager, and we're going to talk about a couple of things here, um, specifically how to use this product, um, and also uh, I come from a Salesforce background, so we're going to kind of talk about some of the feature-smart things that we built into the product um, to help you in your everyday life in terms of managing relationships without bogging you down with too many features. So first of all, uh, as you can see up here, you've got your menu. Um, your current view represents all of your options for viewing relationships that you are managing through the ProContact.me system. Um, it defaults to everybody when you come here to the lead slash contact se section, um, but you also can view only your contacts, only your leads, only your opportunities, only your clients, and finally, shared view. Now, shared view is the view that you get when uh, someone else using ProContact.me decides to share one of their leads with you, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that later. First of all, let's talk about toggling relationship state. So as you can see here, um, I have a couple different relationship states uh, listed out, and they're color-coordinated uh, to represent uh, the kind of relationship that you have. So if I click this drop-down menu, uh, everyone by default is going to come into the system as a contact. This allows me to use the current view function to filter only my contacts, just like that. It's that easy. If I only want to see leads, which are, of course, people that um, may buy from me in the future, I can select that option. I'm only going to see my leads. If I only want to see my opportunities, these are leads that are ready to buy or seem like they're ready to buy, I can filter by that as well. Finally, if I only want to see my clients, I can click this button and I'm only going to see my clients. So we'll go back to everybody again. And as you can see, changing relationship state for a specific relationship that you have, which is represented here by a single line item going across like this. All I have to do to update that is click on the kind of relationship that I want to archive Greg Donahoe as. And now Greg Donahoe is an opportunity. It's been updated and saved. And next time I log into ProContact.me, that's going to be saved for me and ready to go. Uh, let's go over some basic information that we can hold about people that you're managing in your life. So we've got the name of the person, the company name, the phone number, and you have a couple of different email options here. So if I just want to open up my default ma mail platform, I can click here and that option is going to do that for me. If I want to um, download the person's V card so I can add them to Outlook or any other application that accepts the .vcf V card format. This is a handy way to just click on that and boom, you can import it into other any other management platform that accepts a V card format. We've got address information for the person in question, um, and then we've got this live thread option. So the live thread is essentially an archive of all of the actions that you are performing in the ProContact.me CRM. So as you can tell, just a second ago, I converted this person into an opportunity. I'm going to have a record of that in my live thread. I also have the option to add notes as my relationship evolves with this person in this little section here, which is super handy because if I want to remember something, all I have to do is click Save Notes, and then when I come back to the live thread, you can see a note was added on this date by me, and the note has been added. So this really gives me a linear representation of every action that's happening in ProContact.me, from completing a task to changing the state of the person from a contact to a lead or lead to an opportunity, specific notes that I'm recording. And also, if you end up sharing this contact, lead, opportunity, or client with someone else, they can also add notes to the section, and both of you, both of you are going to be able to view this. So it really creates a dialogue between you and people that you're working with uh, in terms of opportunities in your life. And three or four people could be managing this live thread at the same time, and everyone could be viewing exactly what's going on with this person so no one gets lost. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down here. Um, and we're going to talk about some of the other exciting features of ProContact.me. Um, task management is something we just added recently. And if you click on a task, you're given the option to add a title for that task, which is going to be uh, my new task, and then a description of the task. So I could say something like, make sure to get blue widget 
demo ready for him. And then I've got a couple of different options here. I can mark the task as complete, which will save it to my live thread, which we just talked about a second ago, or I can save it and close it. And now you can see this line item has become red. And that's really important because next time I log into ProContact.me, out of all of the people that I'm looking at, I'm going to see that there's an open task for him. And this red bar isn't going to go away until I mark this task as complete and then it's gone. So again, everything is kind of happening in the background here and things are being saved and updated in our database. You're not going to have to wait a long time for page refreshes and stuff like that because all this stuff is just happening magically in the back end. Um, and next time you log in, whatever you're changing is going to be there for you. So let's talk about some more of the features of ProContact.me. For example, the follow-up option. Now, I designed this feature because I really had trouble following up with people. Um, so because of that, I wanted a feature that would not only email me reminders, but also text me reminders. And so um, the phone number that you're using, which can be modified under account info, uh, which is right here, uh, is going to be your default cell phone number for your relationship with ProContact.me. And what's going to happen is if I select a date in the future, like the 18th here, you're going to see this is updated to red. So what this is going to do is send me all of Greg Donahoe's uh, information from the CRM to me in an email, which is super handy, the day before that reminder that I, I scheduled so that I can never drop the ball and always remember to follow up with him. Um, also, it's going to text me uh, directly to my phone. I'm actually going to, a day before the 18th, which would be the 17th or, uh, in the afternoon, my phone is going to light up and I'm going to get a text message from ProContact.me that's going to say, hey, don't forget to follow up with Greg Donahoe. Um, so again, it's kind of like a double reminder, but it's a really handy way to never drop the ball and never forget to follow up. And what's great about this is you can schedule this really far out. So I could actually put this three months out in advance, especially if someone is like, I'm interested in purchasing, but I'm not going to be ready for like three months. This is a great way to say, okay, now I can just set this reminder and I'm never going to have to think about it again. Uh, great little feature there. So... Um, now we're going to go uh, to the iFollowup feature. So this is another handy feature we've built in that uh, automates the follow-up process for you. So all I have to do is click on the iFollowup button. And so as you can see here, um, this feature can either be toggled to off or on. Right now mine is off, but if I turn it on, it's going to automatically send out an email that I've created in this text field right here. X amount of days after that person is added into my CRM. So really the purpose of this is to say, hey, I found that every time I have a new relationship, I'm really sending the same email uh, over and over again. It's like, hey, it was great to connect with you. Uh, feel free to reach out to me. Um, again, I know I gave you my information when we met, but I want you to know that uh, my contact information is available to you. I'm thinking about you and I'm on top of it. So here I'm just going to go ahead and select six days as my increment. And after that person is added into my CRM through my uh, mobile optimized business card, which you can add someone directly through there, or by adding a lead manually directly through the CRM that you're looking at right now. And we'll go over that in a second. Um, this email is going to automatically be emailed to that person uh, six days after that. So if you're the kind of person uh, that is sending the same email again and again, and you're not that good at following up uh, with people, this is going to be a really handy feature for you because, again, all you have to do is write a generic email here. It's going to insert their first name automatically, and it's going to shoot them off a friendly email from you that's been customized, and uh, that's all you have to do to follow up. So... Let's go over adding a new lead. Uh, adding a new lead is as easy as clicking the Add New Lead Manually button right here. And from there, I can just type in their name, their company, their phone, their email, and all of their address information. And uh, if I click Save New Contact, that would just add a new contact for me in the system. And from there, I can go ahead and utilize all the features that we've just been discussing thus far. Um, let's see. Going over here to Actions... Uh, I've got a couple of different options here. So under actions, I can edit the info for an existing contact lead opportunity or client. If I click on that button, I've got all this information here that's relevant to this individual. And all I have to do is type whatever I want and click save. And it's going to be updated for me. So that's 
all you have to do to add new information for a specific contact. The second option we have here is the share option. Um, this allows you, as I was discussing earlier, to actually share your contacts with other people using the ProContact.me system. So I'm going to click on that, and as you can see here, this little window pops up, and it says search by name or email. So I'm just going to do a generic search and uh, find someone that I want to share my lead with. Usually, obviously, you would have a relationship with this person, uh, and maybe you and a buddy both have ProContact.me. Um, I would just go ahead and find the person I would want to share Greg Donahoe, who is the specific lead with, and I would click on Share Relationship. Now it's going to give me a little, are you sure you want to share? And it kind of goes over the different features that Michelle will now be able to edit for Greg Donahoe. Um, so she can change his lead state, uh, edit his basic information, add to the live thread, uh, view notes, uh, really kind of do all the basic stuff that allows you to kind of share that relationship. But at no point in time does Michelle gain ownership of this lead or is able to take this lead away from me because it originated from my account. It's always going to be mine. So I'm going to click on yes, I still want to share. And it says cool, you just shared this person with Michelle. So I'm done. Uh, if at any point in time I want to stop sharing any relationship that I've shared with someone else, I can just go down on here, click stop sharing a relationship under the help and other options menu. And as you can see, here is where I let Michelle see Greg Donahoe and it's going to reaffirm that for me here. Uh, and it says, after clicking this button, Michelle won't be able to see Greg anymore. So if I want to take privileges away from her when she logs in to be able to see that specific contact lead opportunity or client, all I have to do is click the stop sharing. And now when she logs in, she's not going to be able to see him anymore. So if I go down here to archive, um, as you can see, uh, if I click on archive, that line item is going to disappear and he's not going to be in my main view anymore. So the philosophy behind this is that uh, we know that maybe in a given week you're only dealing with 15 or 20 people at any given time. So because of that, uh, we only want you to have to look at those 15 or 20 people in your view in any given time. Uh, so what we've done here is allowed you to archive any specific person in the system and then if you want to restore that person you just go back to help and other options here click on restore archive and now I can go down scroll down find that person and click on the restore option I can also filter right here so it's easier to find someone that way and then if I click on restore archive that person is gonna pop back up in my view so nothing is ever deleted nothing ever goes away it's just simply a way for you to manage the current view, the current week view, essentially, uh, for your day-to-day -day life without having to be bogged down by uh, all these other relationships that aren't relevant for a specific point in time. So um, let's see here. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, show you how, let's say someone like Michelle, for example, who, who was using ProContact.me, decided to share a lead with me or a contact with me or an opportunity with me from her account. In the current view, all I would have to do is come down to the shared view, click on it, and right here actually uh, you can see uh, Taya has shared a couple of people with me. So this is basically a completely separate view from my normal view that represents um, leads, contacts, opportunities, or clients that have been shared with me by others. And again, the purpose of this would be uh, Taya, for example, would want to work on uh, Will Ferrell as the example here uh, in conjunction, and she wants me to be able to uh, add notes about this person and create tasks for this person, and uh, that way we can work together on the project and everything is updated instantaneously so nothing ever gets lost. Uh, so that, that's the purpose of this view. Um, and again, another way to see the relationships you've shared with other people and stop sharing them if you'd like to. We also make it easy for you to filter your view. So if I only want to see, uh, let's say, Greg Donahoe, for example, I just have to type in Greg. And as you can see, this has been updated so that uh, I can quickly and easily browse through all of the relationships I have in my life uh, without being bogged down by uh, too many results. So hopefully this video was informative. 
thanks for purchasing ProContact.me, and hopefully you can see the difference in what we've created here. A product that is feature smart rather than feature rich and allows you to really come back day to day and manage the relationships in your life effectively in a very smart and efficient way.